You have the software installed and the interface connected. Now what? Welcome back to another simple green tech video where we look at audio recording tips, tutorials, and reviews. I'm Radio Zane, and in today's video, we're looking at setting up your interface and getting started recording in the free professional DAW Traction 7. Today, I will be using the Behringer UM2 audio interface. I've installed the actual Behringer drivers, and I'm not using the default ASIO for all driver that Behringer ships with. So this may look a little different if you're using the same interface, but the basics are the same no matter what interface you use. I have another video on installing those drivers just in case you're interested. I'll link to it below. But now let's get started. With Traction open, head over to the Settings tab and click it. Now you want to click on Audio Devices. And in Audio Device Type, you want to change it to ASIO if it's not already there. Now in Device, you want to switch this to Behringer USB audio or whatever device it is that you're going to be recording with. Sample rate you can keep at 4800 hertz, but it's up to you. The lowest I would drop that down is to 4400, but the typical default for video is 4800 hertz. And for your audio buffer size, you have to change that in the control panel. So you go into the control panel, click ASIO, and with the Behringer driver, this is how it looks. Now you have normal, fast, rapid, high speed. I'm going to go with the fast speed, which is, says it's three milliseconds, which isn't too bad. And what this is, is if you're playing guitar over a track or another instrument or singing over a track, that's the input latency that you're going to hear. So you're going to be slightly behind of what's actually playing. And with a low latency, it's not too bad. It's not too noticeable. But if you go to the higher ones, it's very noticeable. Now, why you can't go to the highest one is because it takes a lot of computer power and you might be recording on a laptop that doesn't have a lot of computer power to it. So you want to find the happy medium of latency and computer power. So fast, I think is pretty good. And usually I don't have any issues recording with that setup anyway. I can even go higher if I want, but uh, I usually just record my voice. So it doesn't even matter what I do. If you're just recording your voice, the audio buffer size can be normal or whatever you want, but that's about it. We're now ready to get into traction and start recording. So you want to start a new project. We'll just call this test recording. To arm this track, you just click right in here and you select either input one or input two. On the Behringer UM2, input one is the XLR input and also the line input. If you're gonna be recording a mic or a DI box or a mixer, something like that, that's where you would plug into input one. If you're recording your guitar, input two is the instrument input. And that's just on this device. Your device might be different if you're not using the Behringer UM2. I'm just gonna record my voice. So I'm going with input one, and we're ready to go. So what you want to do is arm the track for recording by clicking there. And then you go down to here and you start recording. This is a test recording in Traction 7 using the Behringer UM2 audio interface. Then you just stop it by clicking the stop button, which is in the same place that the record button's in. And that's it. Now you have a recording that you can edit, do whatever you want with it. You can move it around the timeline if you need to line it up with other tracks. You can trim off the dead air at the beginning and the end. And you can even split it in half if you really want. Now if you want to add an effect to this track, you just right click over here in the mixer section, go down to add new plugin, and then we'll choose a plugin to add. And you can add more plugins if you want. You can have a compressor and an EQ, uh, amp sim, whatever you have that you want to use on your track, you can put it in there. There we go. If you want the EQ to come after the compressor, you would just click on the EQ, drag it over here, and now it comes after the compressor. Or you can bring it back, whatever way you want to do it. And you can keep adding effects there, as many as you need or want. That's it. 
It's pretty simple to get started in recording with Traction. I have another video on the way where I'll show you some basics in editing your podcast or your video voice audio in Traction. So keep watching for that, or it may already be out, depending on when you watch this. Now I want to know, what are you using Traction to record? Are you a musician, a podcaster, YouTuber, or gamer that edits video audio? Let me know what you use Traction to record in the comments below. Also, feel free to share a link or two of your content so we can check it out. For Simple Green Tech, I'm Radio Zane. We'll talk soon.